Megan, good morning. Well, let's start by taking a look at the latest GPD crime report numbers. As you can see there on your screen, GPD investigated more than 1,100 violent crimes so far this year, compared to 916 last year. That includes homicides, rapes, robberies, and aggravated assaults. Now, when it comes to property crimes, police have already investigated about 7,500 incidents so far this year, and that's compared to 6,500 last year. Well, that includes auto thefts, larceny, and residential and commercial burglaries. Now, if you do the math, GPD has seen an overall 17% increase in both violent and property crimes. Well, I do want to bring in Deputy Chief James, and let's talk about exactly what's uh, GPD doing to crack down on the increased crime. So we're making sure that our officers are aware of what's going on in their particular neighborhoods, their zones. So we push out information each day to let them know what's happened recently and also know trends. Uh, one thing we're also looking at is repeat offenders in particular neighborhoods, uh, making sure we're aware of who those folks are, making sure that uh, they are not actually uh, committing new crimes, and then also making sure that um, that the public is in communication with us, uh, letting us know what's going on. Uh, the crime numbers are great, uh, but communication is also a great tool as well because there are many things that the numbers don't show, and we can only learn that by talking with the community and making sure that they have open line of communication with us that we can uh, give them information back as well. Sounds good. Once yep. again, Deputy Chief James with the Greensboro Police Department. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Good Morning Show. Yep. And this is something that we also have been pointing out all morning long. It's the crime mapping website. This is something that you can use to track and even look up crime in and around your community. And for more information on this website and exactly what GPD is doing to crack down on increased crime, just head over to our website. That's WFMYNews2.com. You can find this story in the Good Morning Show section.